Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing probably um, a video that I should have done a long time ago, but I'm just now getting around to it. Obviously by the title, I'm going to be answering all your questions that you guys have about UNC. My most popular DM on Instagram is questions about UNC and people DMing me like, oh, I just got accepted or I'm thinking about applying. Could you answer some questions for me? So I've compiled a list of a bunch of questions that you guys have asked me and I'm gonna do my best to answer them. Also, if I don't answer one of your questions, then feel free to comment below and I will respond to you on your question. Okay, so just for some background information, hi, my name is Chloe. I'm a sophomore at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and I'm a business administration major. Um, I think that's all you have to know about me for this video to make sense. Oh, and I'm also an entrepreneurship minor. I always forget to mention that, but I am that as well. Okay, starting off with my most popular question. Um, this one's kind of simple, but it's where did I live last year? What dorm did I live in last year? I lived in Granville Towers. It is technically off campus, but a lot of first years live there and that is allowed. Also, you guys are wondering how I brought my car since Chapel Hill um, dorms or first years are not allowed to bring cars. Granville actually allows you to bring your car if you get a parking spot and there's not like an unlimited number of parking spots, but I just applied for a parking spot and got selected and got to bring my car and I really did like having my car um, with me. I feel like it was super useful. I was always driving places, whether it be like the mall or the grocery store or like home. I went home a lot. Okay, question number two. Am I in a sorority? No, um, I wish there was some form of like juicy explanation to why I'm not. I guess just like a brief, or all my roommates are in sororities. A lot of my friends are in sororities. I guess the reason I chose not to was one, I didn't want to pay for it. Two, um, it didn't really interest me. Nothing about it really drew me in. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you're trying to decide whether you should join a sorority or not, if you have doubts, do not feel the pressure to join a sorority. I feel like I am doing perfectly fine at Chapel Hill not being in a sorority. I know some schools, um, Put more pressure on it. Chapel Hill is definitely one that has a pretty great big Greek life but also a very big non-Greek life and I don't feel like I've ever been excluded from anything. Um, all my friends invite me to their stuff uh, if I ever want to go. I don't feel the pressure to join one or even to rush if you don't want to. Um, take it from me. I'm doing totally fine and I never rushed, never joined a sorority. Question three is what is the workload like at Chapel Hill? Um, Obviously, this is gonna be different across majors, but for me as a business major, entrepreneurship minor, it is a lot. Not only is the workload a lot and pretty rigorous, but um, one thing about Chapel Hill that I haven't noticed about other schools is that it's, I don't wanna say mandatory, I don't know how to say this, like you're expected to be in clubs. So for example, if you are trying to be a business major and you're not in any form of clubs or like involved in any way, odds are you're probably not gonna get into your program. Or like Kirby, for example, is a nursing major and she's um, doing research and um, just a bunch of like extracurriculars um, that go towards your major because um, this is a side note, I'll touch on this later, but you have to apply to your major for most, if not all majors at Chapel Hill. Bottom line is it's a lot. Obviously I can't speak for all majors. I can speak for business. I can speak for nursing. I feel like Kirby has a very, very big workload and it's very hard. Um, and again, you have to be in clubs and I'm always busy. Um, I don't have time to go out all the time, like at all. Most weeks I don't go out at all. Um, I do a lot of hours of homework a week, a lot of studying a week. And work just has to be pretty high quality, I would say. Like, it's not it's not an easy school. And I'm not here to say, oh, Chapel Hill is the hardest university in the world. But um, yeah, it's not easy. Like, that leads me to um, what clubs I'm in. I am in Charge, which is an all-girls workout club. And we go to, like, new studios every Monday, which is, like, super cool if you're coming to Chapel Hill. Or if you're just going to college, I would definitely see if your, charge, or if your school has a Charge chapter because it's a national organization. Um, I'm also in Carolina Women in Business. I'm in Family Business Club. Also, if you are an incoming freshman, 
go to Fall Fest. Fall Fest is like the best thing you can do for yourself as a freshman, I think. So it's basically all clubs go to a field and you just walk around and it's so overwhelming and um, really intimidating and like really exhausting, <laughs> but just sign up for as many clubs as interests you and then just see what you're really interested in once you start going to meetings and then drop as you go. I recommend it to everyone. That's like one of my best pieces of advice. Okay, now we're getting to a kind of juicy one, I would say. Um, a lot of people ask me if Chapel Hill is safe. And I think this is a very interesting question because this is not something I asked when I was touring schools. So kudos to you guys for thinking about this <laughs> before. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat this answer at all. Chapel Hill, I do not think is safe. The campus, like walking on campus is fine. Campus is nice. Um, it's very like, it has the quad and buildings around it. But as you guys know, Chapel Hill is surrounded by like the city of Chapel Hill or the town of Chapel Hill. And Franklin Street is probably the most dangerous place in this greater Chapel Hill area. Okay, let me just give you guys an example. There's this man who is very dangerous and has multiple felonies and has been arrested probably actually not probably i pulled up his record so six times in the past four years like four of those times for major felonies our apartment group chat is just a long thread of everyone alerting everyone where this man is because the police keep arresting him and releasing him and he's clearly dangerous clearly ill and just wandering the streets of Chapel Hill. So we have close tabs on him. Literally someone's texting about where this guy is. Like, oh, he's crossing Rosemary Street right now. He's walking towards so-and-so um, like every 10 minutes because everyone is scared of this guy. I don't feel comfortable even walking around in the day on my own. If I do have to walk around in the day on my own, I carry my pepper spray for everyone to see it and open ready. Yeah, we've been, if you can't tell, we've been super frustrated with the safety of Chapel Hill recently and that nothing is being done about very scary situations. I really have been dreading answering this question because obviously the answer is no and that's like kind of crappy. Now, that's not something that I would, <laughs> like that sounds stupid to be like, don't let that deter you. But you guys know like everywhere has bad people that doesn't make this like a bad area but my experience recent i'm just sharing my experience with you recently again campus is safe campus is fine like while you're on campus but like franklin street streets parallel to franklin street are not safe to be walking alone at any time of the day now that that rant is over <laughs> i've got like i got like really flustered over that next question my favorite thing about chapel hill um, I have a lot of favorite things about Chapel Hill. Uh, I know I just went off for 10 minutes about how I don't feel like it's safe, but besides that, I love that Chapel Hill is not in the middle of nowhere. So as I was saying, Chapel Hill is like a residential area. Like there's people that live here. There's um, plazas around here. The mall is 20 minutes away. You're in the triangle. So the Raleigh-Durham, you know, research triangle. Dig is 20 minutes away and the botanical gardens are like beautiful if you want to go have a walk or a picnic. We have some gardens around here. Um, like I said, there's a mall. There's so many shopping centers, so many places to eat. Really close to like a big city too, Raleigh, 30 minute drive. And although Franklin Street is not the safest right now, Franklin Street is really fun and like really pretty when you're <laughs> in a big group of people. Also, another thing that I love about Chapel Hill is that there's always something to do. And I like really mean this. I have like never watched a baseball game in my life, but sometimes I go to the baseball game just because it's so pleasant. Yeah, overall, it's like a really nice place to be. And the resources are awesome. There are more resources than uh, I know of and that most people know of. And sometimes it's like overwhelming how many resources there are, but literally anything you can think of and like job search and um, resume help, uh, tutors, Anything you could think of, there is a resource for it. Chapel Hill really encourages you to use those resources and to push yourself and to challenge yourself, which I appreciate. I'm at college to like learn, you know what I mean? So I kind of touched on this on the last question, what is there to do? I guess in the last question, sports teams are awesome. And then if you're not involved in Greek life, there is still plenty to do. Not 
everything revolves around um, Greek life. My best piece of advice for someone coming to Chapel Hill would be one, go to Fall Fest. <laughs> I know I said that earlier, I genuinely mean it when I say like, that is my piece of advice for people. And two, this is like a deeper one. This is for anyone going to college anywhere. When you come into college, know what your values and what your beliefs are and stick to them and don't be shaken on them. Um, I know it's a lot of people think or say or believe that college is a place where you should come and like become a new person. And there's nothing wrong with growing, but there are some things that like values and beliefs that never will change for me. And I will not let anyone shake those values or beliefs. Um, and in college, a lot of things are going to be thrown at you. And just because it's thrown at you doesn't mean it should stick. Be solid in what you believe. Surround yourself or rather don't surround yourself with people who will sway you against those things. Um, yeah, that's just like maybe just life advice, life advice with Chloe. What was my business school application process like? It was very stressful. And I think anyone who's applying to schools will tell you that. Um, I spent a lot of months on it. Um, I had a lot of people read over my essays. I cried a lot. I prayed a lot. It was a crazy time. Um, and I know I can say the same thing. I bet you Kirby would say the same thing about nursing applications. And that kind of leads me into my least favorite things about Chapel Hill. I feel like it's only appropriate to talk about these things. So as I was saying, once you get into the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, you also have to apply once you're in for your major. I don't know if most colleges are like this, um, but yeah, I don't really like that. I could come here and not be able to study what I'm coming here for. That might throw some people off and I totally get that. Um, <laughs> definitely check if what you intend to study, you have to apply for again. I already touched on this, Chapel Hill's unsafe, I would say. That's like a really broad blanket term, but based on what I was telling you guys before, make your own judgments, but I don't appreciate that. It's not super safe. Parking is the worst in Chapel Hill. And when I say with the worst, I literally mean the worst. For reference, I am paying $175 a month to park in a gravel parking lot. That is not in a very good area. And yes, that is absolutely crazy. I fully realize that. What I'm trying to say is please don't lecture me on the fact that I'm paying that much money for a parking spot. I know it's bad, okay? <laughs> parking on campus, impossible. Don't even try it. You will get ticketed or towed. There's just a lack of parking, a scarcity of parking in the Chapel Hill area. Some people ask me what it's like being an out-of-state student. And if you want to know what it's like applying as, as an out-of-state student, again, I would recommend the video on how I got into Chapel Hill, Kirby, who is out of, of my roommate, who's from Tennessee, so out of state, shared all her scores as well. Um, but if you wanna know more of the experience, I'm gonna go get Kirby right now, because some people have asked me that, and obviously I'm not from out of state. What is my question? <laughs> this oh, is Kirby, everyone. She's from uh, Tennessee, mm -hmm. so she can talk about being an out of state student. I guess people are wondering, like, is it hard not knowing anyone or not, relating to other people that they're from here or just yeah. whatever you want to speak on that. I came from like a small town um, in Tennessee and no one from my high school or even like the Tri-Cities region had come here in a really long time except for maybe like one person. So when I came here I quite literally knew no one, like not a single person in the entire school which was terrifying. If you are coming in from an out-of-state student, definitely know that um, it's primarily like a North Carolina school. Like you're gonna think that everyone knows everyone and they're gonna talk about their high schools all the time. <laughs> Sorry. Um, they still do it to this day. <laughs> Sometimes you will feel like you're on like a foreign planet. Um, but during that time, I guess it's cool to get to learn more about your new friends and it's a time for you to like share stuff about your hometown which is deep too. Definitely like a time for you maybe if you didn't have the best high school experience or you weren't surrounded by the best people like this is your time to really open up and get to explore which friend group you fit in best like you can choose any group or you can choose multiple groups. I have like multiple groups of friends which is nice um, and also you can kind of like not morph yourself into a new person, that's the wrong way to put it, but no one knows you, especially if you're from out of state, and you can use it to your benefit and make yourself into the person that like you've always wanted to be. Also, how's nursing going? <laughs> um, good so far, I mean, 
micro is kind of killing me, but <laughs> other than micro, we're we're doing good. So far, well, I don't start actual classes until the fall semester, um, but the prereqs haven't been that bad. You have to like finish all your gen eds beforehand and then- Yeah, um, do that. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely know what, also, <laughs> know what the requirements are to apply to the school before you get yeah. there. They tell you you don't have to know like your path before your first year, but definitely look at the requirements because I was looking at business and the nursing, which are two totally different things and have totally different prereqs. And I thought I was like on the path where I could apply to both schools sooner or later, um, like still on time, but I definitely was not. That's very good advice. Um, you're gonna have to apply to your major and there are a lot of requirements before you can apply to your major. For, so like, for example, Kirby had to get all her gen eds done and have like three Spanishes or something. And then like it was last, super last minute that she had to like jump through hoops to be able to yeah. apply. So there's also not like a ton of room to play around if you do think you like might want to go business or nursing. Like you probably need to decide after your first semester if I were to give that piece of yeah, advice. Yeah, no, that's true. That and everyone's like, oh my gosh, you have time, but we don't have time. Yeah, <laughs> not your best. No. Figure it out before <laughs> you can. Yeah. If I could go back, I would decide a semester or two sooner. But I mean, it worked out. So it's definitely doable. It would just make your course load a lot harder. Like I'm in, I think I was in 19 hours, which isn't even allowed because I had to enroll at the community college for Spanish. <laughs> but I made it. We got in nursing, so it's doable. Thanks, Kirby. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye, folks. Bye. Another question that I just thought of off the top of my head is how I found my roommates. Um, I am so blessed to have had the best roommates ever and we met, so me and Sarah were best friends from high school. We were roommates and then we needed another pair of roommates because Granville, we did a suite that you share a bathroom and there's like a room, room, share a bathroom. So we needed suite mates. Um, we, me and Sarah were both on the class of 2023 or yeah, class of 2023 Chapel Hill Facebook page. Um, and that's basically where like people post little profiles and everyone's like, hey, I'm interested in this kind of stuff. Looking for a roommate, reach out if you're interested. Kirby and us picked each other. And then we were like, Kirby, honestly, like you seem awesome. So we'll be fine with whoever you pick and then we can just be sweet mates. So join your class of whatever Facebook page. Another piece of advice about living, like living situations if you are into Greek life, then Granville is Greek life, Greek life hub. Granville is an amazing location and almost everyone in there is in a sorority or fraternity. Obviously I was in there and I wasn't and I was fine. Um, but I would say 90% 90, 90 of people are. So if that helps at all, just take a guide on maybe what you should look into more or less. If you want to know my scores on how I got in here, um, I did a video all about that. That'll pop up. I never know which corner it is, but I did a video all about, I shared my SAT scores, my ACT scores, my GPA, class rank, all of that. Um, I linked it. Also, I have so many college vlogs that you can reference. I will be more than happy to link them in the description box. If you want to see more of like what day-to-day -day life is like here. I have a move-in vlog um, of Granville and a move-in vlog to this apartment. I will also link those below. Again, if you guys have any questions for me, please comment them down below. Congratulations if you got into Chapel Hill or if you're considering coming to Chapel Hill. Um, let me know if anyone is coming to Chapel Hill. I would love to chat with you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.